Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at regression plots with the Prestige dataset. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and get some um, our basic imports in. So from stats models uh, dot compat, uh, we're going to import the lzip. We're also going to grab um, uh, from stats models uh, dot formula dot api uh, import ols. Uh, then let's also go on and get um, import numpy as mp, import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, uh, and let's also import statsmodels.api as sm. Um, and I think, I think that'll do. And let's go on and load up our data. So our data is going to be prestige here, and we'll set up sm. Uh, datasets dot get our data set here we want uh, Duncan uh, because it's from Duncan we want the car data uh, cache is true dot data uh, and we'll also do prestige dot head and let that run And again, here we can see that this data set has an index uh, value here for account, pilot, uh, architect, author, chemist, type, their professor. Here they have income, education, and their prestige. Uh, now, let's also go on and uh, give up our prestige model. And so we're going to be using in here, uh, we want to predict um, or take a look at uh, our prestige. Okay, and we'll also do this based on income and education. And again, if you want to later on, we can also add in, um, for example, their type um, as well. But we'll for now, we'll just use the income and education. So we'll do uh, model is equal to OLS. And then here we want uh, prestige. And again, we want income plus education. prestige and again we're just going to go on and fit the model and model dot summary here and we can see that it's actually uh, we're explaining about 80 per 82 percent of our variation which is doing pretty good uh, the next thing that we're going to do is again because this is this is about uh, regression plots so actually kind of uh, 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 showing what we actually want with all of this so the first thing we're going to look at is some influence plots um, and so let me, uh, oh, whoops, and I want actually to, there we go. Um, now, again, this is basically going to show um, some, some residuals versus uh, the leverage of the observation. Uh, so let's go on and actually uh, take a look at that. So I'll say uh, figure is equal to sm.graphics. Uh, influence plot you can see that there and again we want our model and then we want our criteria is going to be uh, cooks for our criteria and then we'll do um, fig dot uh, uh, tight layout um, pad is uh, one and so here we can see uh, that there are um, very few uh, worrisome observations, uh, both contractor and reporter. Uh, so reporter here, contractor, um, have um, a low leverage. Okay, so this is their error, H leverage, um, as we talked about in class before. Uh, and we also, um, uh, but they also have a large uh, residual. So at least, and uh, then we have, uh, for example, conductor, and uh, this one up here is actually minister. Maybe need to replot this a little bit later on so that that minister is in a better position. Um, and you know, what? maybe maybe we'll do that really quickly. So let's do um, uh, plt dot figure, and we'll do fig size here is going to be ten by ten. Let's make it a little bit. quite what I wanted, but it'll be okay. Um, you know what? All right, I'm going to move remove that because it didn't, didn't do what I wanted it to do. All right, so 
Um, now, conductor and minister here, for example, uh, have higher leverage, okay, and uh, large residuals, um, and therefore it's going to have a large influence. So um, again, this is this is going to be just a very quick um, example of a uh, influence plot. Um, if you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.